Hey YouTube, Tech Guy here. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a knife I've had for a little bit now. I've been carrying it off and on for about going on two months now. It's the Buck 110 Slim. Now, one of my favorite knives to carry out in the woods when I was younger was a Buck 110. Only problem with that knife, well, a couple problems. One, it was the weight. Two, it you know, one-handed opening knife unless you knew some tricks and you had to practice with it a lot. But I saw this, the Buck 110 Slim, and I was like, ooh, I like that. It comes in several different colors. I got the black. You can get blue, red, I think I even saw a, a yellow. There's five or six colors for it, if I remember correctly. But I got the black because, well, I just like kind of basic colors. And like I said, the weight was a big factor now I've got a buck 110 right here this is the 50th anniversary buck 110 you can see they're basically same size but you look at them this is half the size of this and as I said this weighed in at 7 ounces plus you needed a sheath to carry it which added more weight you had to carry it on your belt couldn't carry it in your pocket it was a little bit too heavy that was seven ounces this is a hair under three ounces now to put it in perspective another knife that I like to carry but again weight is a factor is the Swiss Army folding hunter this weighs in at six ounces this is three that's seven this is going in the pocket more often just because of the weight. Also like the blade. Few features first. Has thumb stud. The handle is glass filled nylon. So it's thin. Has a pocket clip that's reversible. It's a tip up carry only. But you either have it on right hand or your left hand side. So lefties, you got it, has thumb studs on both sides. One thing I like being able to open it up one-handed. And if you're careful, you can close them one-handed. If you have to. Not that I advise it. But anyway, pocket clip is pretty cool. You can see the uh, screws right there where you can... Uh, take it out move it over to the other side has the in the pocket clip it has a cutout of the state of Idaho that's where the factory's at now and it has stainless steel pins holding it together go over the specs of it real quick closed the handle is 4.875 inches the blade is 3.75 inches opened it's 8.625 inches the width is 0.375 inches very slim very slim comes up to I believe 3 eighths of an inch thick the blade thickness itself is 0 0.12 inches and as I said it weighs in at three ounces it's made of 420 HC stainless steel and you can look right on here here's the tank stamp and you see that it is made in the USA it's made at the uh, factory and on the handle if you can see it it has the buck logo there are no liners on it it's just your glass reinforced it does have a stainless steel 420 back spring for the lock and one thing that I find is kind of unique on the blade if you look right here it kind of goes up a little bit I've been I've uh, read some places where that's it's got that little 
hump right there for the uh, machines that they use for making the, the different parts. Like I said, I've been using this off and on for a couple of months. Anything from food prep, whittling, you know, sticks, and uh, prepping for, you know, making kindling for uh, making a little fire here and there. I can't complain. Yesterday I had to sharpen it. First time I needed to sharpen it. And it, a couple times on the stropping it, and it came right back to uh, hair popping sharp again. It's a handy little knife. A lot of times I stick this in my pocket. I'll carry it in my back pocket, clip it in there. It rides very low, and I forget it's there until I need a larger knife because a lot of times I'm carrying my little mini champ and if I need a larger blade I have it there. Really like this knife. Probably gonna be in my rotation now. <laughs> it's very handy, very lightweight. If you're just going out uh, wandering your uh, your yard or the street or whatever and you just need to have a nice knife, do some cutting this is uh, what you probably carry if it's within legal limits of your where you're at. Out in the woods, it's a handy little camp knife. I'm not too sure how well it will do on heavy tasks. I uh, haven't used that for you know cutting down saplings, building shelters, and whatnot. Just using it for light camp chores, and it's also the right price. I think the cheapest you can find uh, a buck nowadays uh, buck 110 is around 50 60 bucks this was right around 25 30 dollars when I got it so it's uh, inexpensive handy knife to carry around with you if you have any questions or comments about it please leave them below and remember always be prepared